Today I'm going to show you how to create your poster in Photoshop. So for the task you're creating an A3 landscape poster of a selected composition technique or design element. So the first thing you need to do is go to file and select new. All right, and you're creating a electronic piece of paper uh, to actually put all your photos on like a collage with the name of your technique and perhaps a description. All right, so the first thing you want to do is rename it and it's already highlighted. So I'm going to name it um, poster example. You might want to name it your group name or what design elements you're going to be using. So the next thing you need to do is click on the drop down menu of the preset and click on international paper. All right, and then you'll see this size dialog box comes up and we're going to select A3. The way that the program's designed is that it's going to automatically create a portrait orientated uh, A3 paper and we don't want that. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is to swap these numbers around. So I'm going to make sure the height is 297 and the width is 420. Okay, and then we are going to select OK. All right, we're also going to change the screen mode to full screen mode with menu bar. So now we have what looks like a blank A3 landscape piece of paper in our Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is to decide what color you want your paper to be because it doesn't have to be white. You can change it to literally any color you can see in this color palette over here. All right, so the first thing you need to do is double click on your background and rename it background again and then select OK. All right, so that removes the little lock symbol. Then we're going to go to the paint bucket in our toolbar, okay, and then select which color we want our paper to be by double clicking on this foreground color square, okay. I'm thinking I might do a light blue or maybe dark blue. Now let's go with light blue, okay, and press OK. And then all we need to do is click on the background, so the piece of paper, and now I have changed the color, all right? You might find later on that this color doesn't look good with the photos that you've selected, but we can change that later on just by going back into this layer and using the paint uh, bucket tool over what you've already done. All right, so I want you to change back to the select tool, okay, and I want you to click on the background layer in the layers palette and click on the, the padlock. Okay. So that means that layer is locked. So now if I wanted to change that color, so make it pink, you'll see a little stop sign has come up because the layer that is selected is locked. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to choose the photos that I want to put onto my poster. Okay, so you can either click and drag these photos into the Photoshop or you can just open them. All right, so I'm just going to open them. So I am going to choose these four images. You'll have more images than this, but that's okay. I selected all those images by clicking on this first one then holding down the shift key and clicking on the last one there. And all I need to do now is select open. And you'll see all those images opened up. All right, so at the moment we've completely lost our artboard and we can't see our document we just created. We can just see the last of the images I selected. So to make sure you can see all these images, you need to change your screen mode back to standard screen mode. And you'll see that your images are now in the tabs up here. So we've got our poster here and our four images we added. Okay, these are unedited images. You'll be using your edited images to put on your poster. All right, so the easiest way to move these photos into your poster is to click 
on the picture itself. When I click on it, I'm going to hold it down, so I'm not going to release it. Okay, you'll see that the arrow has changed. And then I'm going to drag it and hover it over the tab of my poster, and you'll see that it's switched over. I'm still holding down, okay? So you can still see the outline of the photo. And then once I've got it onto the poster, I'm going to release, okay? So you'll see that now my, my image is in the poster, but it's way, way too big. So the way that we change this is by using the transform controls, which are on the sides here. If you don't have them on your image, all you need to do is make sure this show transform controls is selected. So you'll see that they're not there now. Now they are. Okay. And you need to make sure you're using the shift key when you're doing this. Okay. So always hold down the shift key when you're resizing an image, because otherwise it's going to do something like this. Okay. So now my image is all out of proportion and looks really bad. All right, so I'm just going to undo that by hit, uh, clicking Control Z or Command Z if you're using a Mac. And because I clicked it and dragged it away, I've done more than one step. So if that's happened, you can click undo or step backward, but you need to make sure you apply the transformation. So because I haven't applied the transformation, this actually hasn't really happened. So if I click on this move tool here, it says apply transformation. I'm not going to apply it. So my original image is going to be fine. Okay. So make sure that you're applying things because otherwise it's actually not going to let you do anything else. So what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key on my keyboard and then I'm going to click and drag. And now you'll see that my photo is in proportion. Okay, so I'm going to leave my uh, image here, but I might want to put it on a tilt. Okay, and the easiest way to do that is to using the select tool. So click on the select tool, apply your transformation. And then if you just hover your mouse, don't click on it near one of the transform controls um, on one of the corners, you can click and rotate it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Again, I click back onto the select tool and apply that transformation. Okay. You'll see that this image now has come up as a layer. Okay, layer one. So we're going to lock that layer. So when I'm dragging other photos in, I can't actually accidentally move this or delete this. All right, so I'm going to do the same process for the next photo, but much uh, faster. So click hold, drag across into our poster, release. Hold down the shift key, make it smaller, click on the apply transform control by selecting the select tool, apply, move it to where I want it and rotate it slightly. And then again, click on the select tool and applying the transformation. Okay. So I'm going to quickly do that with the other photos. Okay, apply that. And you're going to have probably 10 or 15 images to do this with, and these are going to be your edited images. Okay, so you're going to have to spend a lot more time placing them so it all works uh, within your overall poster design. All right, and it's really important that you're letting all members of your group have a go at this because you don't want to be just sitting there and not realizing what's happening because you're all going to have to be able to do this for your assessment. Okay, and we're going to click apply. So I've got all the photos I'm going to be using in my poster. All right, and now I'm going to use the text tool to write the name of my composition technique. All right, and perhaps put in a short description. You can find how to add text to a photo in another tutorial, but I'll quickly go over how you do it um, in this just really briefly. But if you want a more in-depth instruction, have a look at that tutorial. So we click on the text tool. And we're going to create a text box. And I'm going to type composition example going to highlight that, change it to a different font, 
reduce the font size a lot more. This is okay. And then I'm going to, much like the photos, select the select tool, hold down the shift key and make it bigger. All right. I actually find that I don't like that color at all. So I can click back onto the type tool, highlight the text again, and change the color using this uh, box up here. I'm going to change it to a really dark blue. Click OK. All right. So you can also then add other names to this. So you can say by group one. Okay, and you see that I typed group one and you can't actually see the one. So I can just click back on the transform controls. And that doesn't work, my bad. You can go back into the text tool and then move the transport transform controls out. Then click onto the select tool and you'll see that the group one is there. The font that I'm using uh, doesn't handle the uh, actual numbers right. So I might need to actually type one. Okay. And then I reduce that using the shift, holding the shift, apply it, and then I'm going to drag it up underneath. You'll see that I'm moving the name using the arrow keys on my keyboard if I can't get it exactly right with my mouse. Okay, and that's how you add text and create your poster. Make sure you have a check of the how to save a image tutorial to make sure you're using the right specifications to actually save this uh, poster so you can print it out.